with the Cuban team. Obviously, they are legendary, their national team, but this should be a really good competitive fight with their backgrounds, with their experience, and with what's on the line. Somebody's O has to go. Neither guy has learned how to lose. Should be a good one. Somebody's going to take a step forward between Usmani and Bartholomew. That's coming up in our 12 round main event. This is round number two between Bowles and Sukaris. And a reminder that you, the fan at home, can score along with Teddy. You can go to the Friday Night Fight Facebook page, click the live scoring button, and after every round, you score the round, and we'll show you how you, the fans, see the fight in front of you. There was a counter right hand that time by Sokaris did not land flush. Bulls tried to time him, almost got clipped with a left hook. Sakaris able to get away that time and that right hand from Bowles. Both fighters are pretty good defensively, so you're not going to catch them with naked punches, with cold punches. You're going to have to do a little trickery. You're going to have to go to the body, then go to the head. Or maybe you're going to have to faint a little bit, like that a little bit. Get him out of position, get a false move, and then punch. But as you can see right there, neither guy effective when they're just coming with straight stuff. And a straight stuff is good, don't get me wrong, you don't want wide stuff. But what I mean by straight stuff, in this instance, is stuff where you can see it coming. Where it's just regular, conventional punches with no setups, no magic with it. It's not that easy to hit somebody who doesn't want to be hit. End of two, scheduled for four. Magic City Casino here in Miami. Home to Friday Night Fights season debut, round three between Joshua Bowles, 6-0, and Hiram Sakaris, 5-0-1, just 19 years old. And Sakaris on the attack early here in the third round before they're separated by Max Parker. And he's going to get a warning there for punching on the break. Come in. Neither fighter has been able to separate himself really in this close fight. The fight where I mentioned the last round, both guys are pretty competent defensively. They're both thoughtful, they're both cautious and careful. This is the kind of fight where a jab can win the fight. I don't think either fighter using the jab enough. The old time trainers, Katsumato, used to say to me all the time, Teddy Atlas, sometimes when you're in doubt of what to do, and it looks like both of these fighters are a little bit in doubt of what to do to take control, that's when you must jab. Use that jab. Even if you have to use it to the chest a little bit. Oh, there was a lead left hand that time by Bulls. It was kind of in between, almost an uppercut hook, just kind of directional angle there by Bulls. Oh, he got caught a right hand, stepping forward. Sakara scored that time with a right hand. I think what's happening is Bulls a little frustrated, hasn't been able to create any offense. Instead of using the jab now, he's starting to lead with punches. Punches like that, wide punches, punches that give up defense. 
In other words, he's starting to help Sakaris. He doesn't mean to, but he's helping Sakaris. And then a right hand floors him! And that's exactly what I mean. He created an opening and Sakaris took advantage.